So if somebody's a new, new believer or new to the church, um, personally, I think that they should, they should jump in. It's hard to talk about my faith story without talking about uh, Grant Memorial. Um, in my high school years, I had a couple of friends who went to Grant Memorial, went to youth group, and they asked me all the time to come to church, um, and I kept saying no, 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 no. And then eventually I said yes. And then as I came to church, probably it took me about a year or so to kind of get comfortable and um, meet people that, uh, who truly loved me. Because as, as a non-believer, you meet people who always want, kind of want something from you. So coming to church, um, I met a bunch of, a bunch of uh, youth who, who loved me for who I was and who cared for me. And yeah, we just had a great time. Um, an instrumental part in that um, obviously was our youth pastor at the time, uh, John Stevens, who invited me to everything. Um, as a young guy, we didn't have a lot of money. And so he would invite me to uh, Youthquake. Um, and I couldn't afford to go to Youthquake. And so he would say, uh, show up, pack light, and if there's room, we'll take you. So I would show up with a little bag and they always found a way to take me. And so 1992, I went to Youthquake and the speaker there, it impacted me, as well as with the relationships, um, is when I received Jesus Christ, um, you know, I gave my life to Christ. So February 22nd, 1992, right before a Mile and a Broken Heart concert, uh, on my knees, uh, praying for God's forgiveness. So that was a huge part, obviously, for me. Uh, very shortly after, about a month after receiving Christ, there was a mission trip to Chicago. And so John Stevens again said, do you want to go? And I said, we can't afford it. And he said, show up, pack light. If there's room, we'll take you. And so I showed up and there was room. And so he took me. So a month of being a Christian, uh, I went on my first mission trip. And that was very instrumental because the people who were leading that group uh, took me aside and another uh, youth and they said to us, uh, we're looking to you for leadership. And they didn't know me, so they didn't know how uh, new to the faith I really was, but they said, we're looking to you for leadership. And so I took that very seriously in that moment. And, and that was sort of my first, my first step into um, Christian ministry, um, being discipled, being mentored by this, uh, this Christian couple. Um, and so that was a, a wonderful experience. And then when I came back um, is when I first started, you know, feeling the call of God in my life to, to go into ministry. Grant Murrow gave me my first opportunity to teach Sunday school. So shortly after going on my first mission trip, I taught grade five boys uh, Sunday school. Um, shortly after that, John Stevens gave me an opportunity to speak at the youth service. So I'd be given a lot of opportunities uh, along the way and a lot of uh, chances to be mentored and coached um, by these, by these uh, adults who were Christians who I had never met before. Um, so after that, decided that it was right to go to uh, Bible college. And so went to Bible college for a bit, got a degree, um, but always came back to Grant Memorial. Grant Memorial was always home. It was always um, family. It was always, um, yeah, it was just always encouraging. It was always loving for me. Even so much so that my first church that I pastored was a church plant of Grant Memorial. And so even though I was away from the church and I was pastoring my own church, I had uh, the pastor who was here, Tom Castor, uh, would mentor me and kind of coach me into how to be a pastor. And so uh, that was something that was very important for me. It was something that really encouraged me. Um, you know, I was a young guy and he wanted me to be in ministry for a long time. Um, fast forward to now, um, God has called me into ministry at Youth for Christ as a senior ministry director, where I have the opportunity to do um, for others, what was done for me those years ago. I lead the sports ministries at Youth for Christ, and they're all young staff. And I want to see the young staff in ministry for a long time. And so we meet uh, regularly, and I coach them, and I disciple them, and I make sure that they're spiritually healthy so that they can uh, minister for a long time, very much in the same way that those uh, at Grant Memorial have done for me over the years. And even as an endorsed missionary, um, I come from a non-Christian family, so I don't have any financial support from my own family. However, uh, Grant Memorial being my family, my home, uh, my support comes from the church, and that is so important. I don't only get financial support, I get encouragement, I get love. People ask me how things are going, and 
that alone, I think, uh, you know, spurs me on. Um, so yeah, so that is important. Um, I likely wouldn't be where I am if I wasn't mentored and coached by the people who went before me. Yeah, so one way I think we can all raise up uh, new leaders, whether it be small group leaders or trustees, is to look out for the people you see potential in and then take time out of your busy schedule to walk with them, to mentor them, to love them, to encourage them. Um, and as they grow in their faith and as they see you do what you're doing, um, they will take that opportunity that you've given them and hopefully plug in. Um, <laughs> yeah, so.